This week on the Chong Show, behind the scenes PlayStation Move gameplay, Red Dead Redemption Online, a Tomb Raider movie, and a whole lot more. This is the Chong Show. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Chong Show. There isn't too much news this week. It's mainly rumors because of E3 being just around the corner. But there's still some gaming news out there, so stay tuned and enjoy the show. First on the news, if you have a PS3, Red Dead Redemption, and a PSN online account, you're in luck. This weekend, you could have caught out a cool group of people, specifically the Rockstar team. This was relatively unknown to most people until Friday the 6th of June, so if you were lucky enough to play with them, I hope you had fun. It's not a rare thing for the developers to actually get involved with their fans, but it is actually a pretty cool thing. Now to some insight on the Tomb Raider franchise. We've all played as Lara Croft in the Tomb Raider video games, but then one day they decided, hey, let's make a movie franchise, and they did with Angelina Jolie. At the time, Angelina Jolie was considered one of the hottest women in the world, similar to what we see today with Megan Fox. Since Angelina Jolie is sadly aging, hmm, yeah, I know. Sucks, eh? Hey? But yeah, since she's aging, they have to find a replacement if they want to keep the franchise going. So, what do they do? They decide, hey, let's get Kim Kardashian. I know what you're thinking. What? Yeah, we all know she's hot and all, but Lara Croft, portrayed by Kim Kardashian, no acting skills, that's a big fat no, almost the size of a big fat ass. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but guess what did happen? I saw Prince of Persia on the weekend, and I don't really want to talk about it, except for those ostriches. Those ostrich races were pretty cool. Please don't waste your money going to see this movie. You won't be impressed. It's nothing like the game. Guess what? Street Fighter also had a movie, but now Capcom and Namco are deciding, hey, why not release a Tekken vs. Street Fighter game? These are just rumors for now, but E3's just around the corner and possibilities are rising. Just imagine those matchups. Oh, damn, they, they would just be awesome. Just imagine the epic battles between you and your friends playing four players, two players, it doesn't matter. It could just explode with Tekken Street Fighter. Kaboom! That was some big news, but it ain't the big news. Big news! We've seen in this episode of The Chong Show, E3's just around the corner and things are leaking from all sorts of cracks. Not Kim Kardashian's crack, but you know what I mean. Gameplay, screenshots, behind the scenes stuff. Well, I have snagged some gameplay and behind the scenes footage. PlayStation Move was announced back in 2009, but now there's just so much cracking through the surface. And here's a clip of the new Sony device in action. You can see it right in front of your eyes. Whoa, it's in front of your eyes. I don't know what I'm doing. What the hell am I saying? But you can see that it is very responsive, you know, because it's right there in front of your eyes. What the hell am I on about? Oh, man, this voiceover sucks. Um, I don't know what was up with that voiceover, but um, I'm looking forward to Sony's move because it looks like it's going to have a cheaper price than Project Natal from Microsoft. So the PlayStation 3 is looking pretty damn strong this year, and the PlayStation Move just adds to that punch. That's it for this week's gaming news. With all the talk of Lara Croft, I think Gorilla Man has something for us. Yeah, Gorilla Man, what's that? Thank you, Gorilla Man. Okay guys, Gorilla Man wants to know, who is your favorite female video game character of all time? Leave your answers in the comments as usual, and you could be on the next week's Chong Show comment section time thing. But last week, Gorilla Man wanted to know who you guys would have as your ultimate duo, like a co-op or a tag team in a video game. And as always, I'm Champ Chong, my accent is Australian, and thanks for watching The Chong Show. Yeah.